Good afternoon, everyone. Hawaii summits under another blizzard warning. Heavy snow falling up to 10 inches across the Big Island. Northwest Pakistan, 46 avalanches cutting off access in the Chitral area for 12,000 people unable to receive food or medical supplies. Stunning lightning over the Amazon basin. And in Edan, with the massive floods and snowmelt runoff, a 7th century lunar calendar graveyard has been unearthed by the floodwaters. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030 and join me on iTunes and Stitcher Radio for my podcast, Mini Ice Age Conversations. Following record-breaking snows on Mount Okay and Mount Aloha, December 3rd, 2016, another blizzard warning dropping 10 inches of snow in March on the Big Island summits. 65 mile per hour winds and heavy rains across the entire island chain. A glimpse here of the East Asian Observatory cam. The snow that fell overnight. Another wide out here for you of the observatory. Now the Weather Channel headline, rare severe thunderstorms across the islands, but they go out of their way to say in fact that snow isn't unusual. That it even snowed atop the summits in late July 2015. That's rare in itself. And then we come into 2016, record snows, and now again, blizzard in March of 2017. The forecast is for an intensifying grand solar minimum. Specifically in these last three years, it's been unusual snowfalls, and somehow they're trying to just dismiss this. Images from the December snowfalls off social media. It was actually feet that fell up, up to five feet drifting. And a fun fact here, the mountain peaks in the Big Island of Hawaii have had more snow in this one day than Denver has received so far in all of 2017. Over to Pakistan in the Arkari Valley, 46 avalanches in different points across the region have blocked over 12,000 people, locked them into their villages. They're running out of food and medicine. It's an isolated area up in the Chitral, Northwest Frontier Province area. Those of you who are familiar with trekking, Hindu Kush and Karakoram region, diverse vegetation and ecosystems up there, lush valley floors, steep mountains, and the rivers have ocean colors to them. Looking at the higher peaks across the Karakoram, looks like something right out of the Alps. On a personal story, when I was trekking in Leh in northern India, I kept hearing these magical stories, people saying how amazingly friendly the people were up in the Karakoram Hindu Kush area and that you need to get there right now. This was in the late 90s and I should have taken their advice. Over to Iran, along with the heavy flooding and now the snow falls melting, filling the river basins, the floods have actually scoured away parts of the riverbank, unearthing a 7th century lunar calendar cemetery. Wide out here for you of what's been unearthed so far. Now the archaeologists are waiting for the floodwaters to recede and then they're going to get in there for a, a full study of what this actually is. They're quite unsure right now. One day it's a mud bank, the next day stone carvings litter what was that eroded river bank. Pilot capturing amazing photos over the Amazon, the lightning storm of these cumulonimbus clouds reaching up to the upper atmosphere being split off by the wind shear up there. Heavy electrical activity. This is almost getting into plasma bolt versus lightning strike. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. We indeed are living in strange times. You need to ask yourself, what else is going to be unearthed with all of these changes happening? So be incredibly thankful that you are alive right now in one of the most epic chapters of human history.